So joining us on the line is Gina Carano. She is the producer and star of the brand new Daily Wire film, Terror on the Prairie. It's fantastic. You should become a member over at dailywire.com slash subscribe so you can watch Gina in action. Gina, thanks so much for joining the show. Hi, thanks for having me. So let's talk about how this whole thing started. So you and I actually got in touch right after you were canceled by Disney Plus for the great crime of mentioning that people should be nice to each other, which is really, really, really bad. And so they fired you. And, uh, and maybe you can tell that story about how that went down. I was just basically, I was just basically going to put the covers over my head for about a month. Um, this was this was like uh, a year ago, right? A year ago now. Um, and my manager was calling me. Uh, he said, "You know, Ben Shapiro is trying to get in touch with you." And actually, um, you know, uh, Dana White was texting me, which was a surprise. He was like, "Hey, Ben Shapiro is trying to get in touch with you." And oddly enough, um, when I was starting kind of my journey into understanding because I've never been political. I've never been interested before 2020. Um, but when I was starting my journey to kind of understanding what was going on, I had your, one of your books was when the um, facts um, don't care about your feelings was the first book that I got um, and read. And so then I'm like, well, this is interesting. Okay. So Ben's going to get a hold of me. So we got on the phone and you, <laughs> you basically said, uh, you know, you have to punch back and you have to punch back immediately. You have to fight this. And, um, and it took me out of the place that I was in, which was, Oh my gosh, my life is never going to be the same. I'm going to just completely, uh, have to deal with this whenever I can get myself up again. But, um, you helped me kind of get motivated to punch back. And, and so here we are, we, <laughs> here we are almost I mean, over a year later. And this is just, uh, it's absolutely amazing. It's surreal. Well, so Gina, I mean, first of all, it took a lot of courage to do what you did because the way that it works in Hollywood is that they cancel you, they throw you out of a job, and then they essentially want you to beg for scraps at their door for the next several years. You have to earn your way back into doing bit parts by essentially apologizing incessantly for everything that you believe. And if you perform enough woke rituals, then maybe at some point they'll start casting you you know, way lower than you were originally cast. And maybe you'll work your way back to the point where you can work semi-regularly. But instead, you decided that, and this is the, the bravest move, you decided that they can really only cancel you if you wish to be canceled in this culture, so long as there are people out there to support you. Right. And I was I was thinking, gosh, this is going to take a, a decade to get back um, where I'd gotten. You know, I, I worked my entire life. I've never had any handouts in a career. You know, I've worked. I've never compromised myself. I've done things by the book and... Um, you know, it was 10 years of fighting and it was 10 years of acting. And, um, you know, basically what I saw was happening in the last, you know, two and a half years with, uh, with everything from politics to the, how our country and the globally, you know, responded to the COVID-19 crisis and everything. I just, I just felt like um, every morning I woke up, I felt like I, I, I needed to say something. I needed to just, you know, have people think, you know, and so I had post quotes and memes and things. Um, just to have people think for themselves and to kind of start thinking and, and everybody was holding their breath. Nobody was saying a word, especially in my industry. And, um, you know, everybody was like raising their hands for like the, the cool causes that would let you walk down the red carpet and be accepted, but nobody's really raising their hands in defiance against, you know, um, something that we could all get on board with, which is just complete, you know, overreach of government. And um, so, yeah, I, I didn't feel like holding my breath. And then, um, you know, then getting canceled, <laughs> I just felt like, oh my gosh, this is going to take 10 years. I mean, if it, if I, if I ever even get back there. And so, um, the opportunity you gave me, um, I think has inspired so many people. We were just at the premiere the other night and all of these artists from everywhere came to fill up three movie theaters for our premiere. And all of these people, you can, just, you can feel the thirst that people need, you know, hope out there that um, they're going to have a place to go to make art that where they don't have to compromise and sell their souls for um, their jobs and that they're going to actually find a place of belonging. And so what we're doing here is completely uh, necessary. It, it needs to happen. And I think um, just this movie in itself has inspired people and artists to um, to come out and 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 start working hard, <laughs> start working hard to create and create uh, more opportunity and more art that we can just keep going. Well, the movie is great. It's Terror on the Prairie. It's directed by Michael Polish. 
Uh, Gina, how did you decide that this is the script that you wanted to do? Because I know we threw a lot of scripts by you. There were a lot of options on the table in front of you. How did you decide this is the one you wanted? Well, so we were eventually, we were originally planned on doing White Knuckle, this um, the Strucker movie, which is a serial killer movie. And um, we had a really good script there. But we needed to, uh, we weren't sure if the, the SAG union was going to enforce their mandates on us. And I think, uh, you know, we were all on board of not letting that happen because the mandates are, are still actually happening and absolutely ridiculous. Um, and so we, we decided to go with a non-union movie and um, our director's from Montana. And when, when we had read all of the scripts, the Terror on the Prairie was one that really stood out, but we weren't sure if we wanted to make a Western or not. So we kind of went with a, you know, White Knuckle, which is a serial killer movie. But when that one uh, wasn't going to work, because we would have had it done a union movie, we decided to go with Terror on the Prairie, which I think ends up being the exact movie that we needed to do. It's about a family coming together, going through some really hard times, homesteading, starting over from scratch. Um, you know, and I think it's kind of a good analogy of what's happening um, with our movement of, you know, offering, you know, um, a new path and, and forging a new frontier in art and movie making. Um, so we're basically starting out on the plains in the middle of nowhere, you know, um, and it's not easy, but it's a dream and it's passion and it's working together as a family. And, um, you know, I think that all of those things kind of ring true. So, it really ends up being the perfect movie for us to have done. Um, and, and it wasn't easy. There was horses, there was babies. Um, but I think, you know, I really do think we were, we had a blessed set. I think that when you make the right decisions, you, you, you know, not that's the easier decisions, but when you make the right decisions and you're walking along your path and you know, that's your path. Um, I think that, you know, I feel like God kind of blesses that experience and our situation and our movie was definitely blessed. And I, and it's just a really cool, I mean, I don't even like watching things that I'm in, but I, I really love this movie because it's quiet. It's not all flashy and bright. It's um very quiet and still. And in a, in a world where movies are nothing but serious, you know, or um, superheroes and like everything on TV looks like Skittles. It's all just like eye candy and um, you know, all bunch of cuts and in our movie, it's so natural and it's nature and it's the elements and it's the, you know, the sound is like exact, it's, it's, it's quiet. And, um, I just, it's dirty. It's, um, it's, it's such a cool movie. And I absolutely, I'm just so proud of it. <laughs> well, we're all definitely all proud of it. And we're definitely proud to be associated with Gina Carano. Check out the movie terror on the prairie. You have to be a member over at dailywire.com. We are Busting at the seams with new membership. You should join up to have tons of great stuff out there, including Gina's brand new movie, Terror on the Prairie. Gina, congratulations. And uh, and it's been an honor to work with you on this. And um, thank you, Ben. Thank you so much for everything you're doing. It's um, thank you for getting me out of my covers and, and on the right track to start punching back. You're, you're inspiring a lot of people. So we appreciate you. And thanks so much, Gina. I hope you enjoyed that clip from The Ben Shapiro Show. If you did, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you stay up to date with all our future content.